guys, it's Brittany. Welcome to a new Q&A video. So today, this is a Q&A video for August. So just to make it up for it, so here are the questions that I have gotten so far. It's not a lot, but that's okay. Um, so my friend Brad, who has a YouTube channel, um, on YouTube, I'll put his um, uh, YouTube channel link in the description below so you can check it out. His videos are good. Um, he does movie reviews. Um, so he asked me, what made you want to start up a YouTube channel? Um, that's a good question. Um, I would have to say because um, at the time before I even started making videos, I had no idea what I wanted to do. Like, I had no idea on um, what kind of videos I wanted to do. And so at the time, all I was watching was just Matthew Santoro, like his videos. I mean, I still do. Like, I was watching a lot of his um, infotainment videos, you know, which gives a lot of information, and it's very educational, and even his new gaming channel, which is so awesome, and his um, vlog channel as well, so since I've been watching a lot of his videos from his three different channels, and I've been watching some other YouTubers as well, like there's Brie Kelly, who talks about um, what um, she talks about, like her tattoos, piercings, and these other different things, even the paranormal, and even um, I was watching, I, I'm still watching like um, Jessie B, because she has really, um, really good story time videos, you know, like those crazy story times, but it's really fun to watch, so. Through all these different YouTubers that I have and still watching, which I would love to name them all, but since each one that I watch and still watch their videos, that since they inspired me of how they do their videos and how I can see they really enjoy it because they love talking what they love to talk about in their videos, like whether if it's a story time or if it's, um, let's say, facts on, um, about nature. Like, I can tell they really enjoy it, and because of that, I, I remember thinking, like, well, since I signed in into YouTube on October 25th, 2013, I thought, wow, I'm surprised I never even started making videos at that time when I first logged in to YouTube for the first time. But that doesn't mean it's never too late. Because it's never too late to start making videos. So because I was watching their videos at the time and how I really enjoy watching their videos, and I still do, I thought, you know what? This gives me an idea that I should make videos of my own. And so, yeah, that was pretty much it. I thought, you know, I'm going to do that. But then I thought, but wait, if I were to start making videos, what videos would I make? And what would I talk about? So I remember even youtubers that I've watched, like even Matthew Santoro, that he said that if you ever want to start a YouTube channel, like just do videos on what you love, like if you love like talking about music or you know anything at all, like, th like that's your main interest, like if your main interest is like entertainment or music or you know, certain things like that, it's like, make a video about it, like, talk about it, if you love talking about it, so, I remember when he was saying something like that, I thought, wow, like, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna make videos on what I love, so, 
yes, that's what I'm still doing. I'm making videos on movies because I love movies. As you can tell because there's the incredible movie facts and now there's this um, movie reviews that I'm starting to do and there's uh, reaction videos which I'm reacting to movie trailers so you can tell that I really love movies um, but yeah I also love my dreams so that's why I started to make dream time videos because since I have these very real but also good dreams I thought you know since I really love the good dreams that I've had like in the past and that I have now I thought why not even talk about that like because I love talking about what I dreamt about especially if it's good and it's a positive dream then yes I would love to talk about it but at the same time when it comes to nightmares says something I don't want to talk about because it's like no no uh too scary but to be honest starting next month since it's october next month i'm thinking of at least talking about some nightmares that i have just because of the fact that halloween is in october but the last day of october so i thought you know what why not why not talk about something scary like my scary dreams well i don't call them dreams like if it's scary i just call them nightmares if it's good i call them dreams but yeah that's how i started to make videos it's because how i was inspired by other youtubers that i've watched and because of that i just want to thank them for that and yes i am very happy of the videos i make because like i said I love movies and that's why there's the movie facts and now movie reviews and reaction videos to movie trailers and because I love my dreams, like the good dreams, that's why I make videos about that. Um, because to me dreams are also very entertaining like to listen to because you get this image in your head like when the person tells you what they dreamt about it's like you get this movie going on in your head like like since they're describing it you get this picture like oh my god it's like you serious and let's see there is Q&A and I love Q&A because I love it when I get asked um, some questions and I get to answer those questions on a video like this one so that's pretty much that answer, sorry if the answer is kind of long, but moving on to the other questions. Um, Brad also asked me, who is your favorite YouTuber? Um, this is kind of hard to answer because I have a lot, and I do meet a lot of favorite YouTubers. There's, like I've mentioned before, um, Matthew Santoro, there's Brie Kelly. There's Jesse V, there's, well, there's even ones that I've made friends with um, on YouTube and Twitter. Um, as much as I would love to mention all of them, it's really hard to, but you know who you are, and Brad, yeah, you're my favorite YouTuber too, and Ashton, who makes these really cool um, fashion and makeup videos as well. Yeah, shout out to you. You're my favorite YouTuber too. Um, next question, uh, he asked me, what are your future plans? Okay, I, I think I see where this is going. Um, what all my future plans are, um, in my life. I, um, okay, to be honest, what I'm just gonna say here is that my future plans are to succeed in my acting career because that's always been a big dream of mine when I was little, like very young because whenever I watch movies a lot, like the same movies or different ones, but mostly the ones that I usually had on VHS. 
whether if I watched practically the same ones or not, I would just always feel so inspired by, you know, these really great actors who do so well in what they do. And it's not like it was just one or two of them. It was most likely just all of them. Because, you know, it's like they do such a good job on that. And for each one to do their performance so well, and for each character, it's just really moving. And, you know, it's really moving where they make you feel something towards them, like, um, like you know, any emotion. Like, they can make you feel sad, angry, confused or uh, just any emotion at all and that's that's still what I love about about that so yeah that's what I want to do that's what are my future plans is to make it is to make it into is to make it into that to make it into the entertainment world where I can become an actress and where I can be a part of something that I've always dreamed of and still dreaming of because this is something I I knew that I that I wanted to do this like I knew that this is my future career that that I'm just going to love doing for the rest of my life and not just that I want to succeed into um, my acting career in the future, but also my future plans are that I definitely want to meet the right guy and, and that he will accept, accept, yeah, he, he will accept me for who I am and he will also um, accept and to understand on um, the decisions that I've made and and that no matter what those decisions are that he will accept it for what it is and that and that I, I will feel like that I have somebody who completely understands like not just understands me but who appreciates um, me you know and who accepts the fact that no matter what I decide or have decided already, that he will always will want that he will always want me to be a big part of his life, and that nothing is gonna change that. So yeah, I pretty much want that. So um, well, you can't go wrong with that. You can't go wrong with wanting to really want to you know, have the right person in your life. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, oh, but also my future plans are also uh, that I want to start like, um, like something way in the future so that I want to open my own gift shop and that everything is going to be customized, like personalized, you know? in a way, like customize it in a way where it has its own design. Like in my own gift shop one day, I want to sell like jewelry, um, t-shirts, sweaters, hey, even pajamas, because that would be nice too. Um, mugs, you know, coffee mugs, um, uh, I don't know what else, but Pretty much just that, I would love to sell in my future gift shop one day, and like I said, even for each one, like each item in that gift shop could have something like customized on it, like this really cool design to it, and, like it'll have like these cute, um, but also inspirational quotes on the shirts. And so yeah, I definitely want that one day. And also, another thing for my future plans is that I definitely want to have 
pets. Like, I do want to be married. Like, when I say married, I mean to the right guy, of course. And to have, well, to be honest, to have pets with him. Like, to have, like, dogs, cats, and horses. Especially horses, because I love horses and I would just love to own a horse. Like, not just one, but, like, maybe three, I don't know, four. But I would just love to own, like, horses of my own and to name them and for them to be my babies, you know? So yeah, those are my future plans, is to su succeed into my acting career, to meet my guy and marry him, and to also, like I said, that no matter what decisions I have made already, for him to accept that and to always want me to be a big part of his life no matter what and to have pets with him like I said and to have my own gift shop one day because I think that would be amazing um hang on I'm gonna get to the next question so yes Brad I did answer to your questions so there you go um next question what movie or TV show you're currently watching? Okay, so... Um... Let's see... If anything... TV show I'm currently watching is Friends, and to believe it or not, since I have watched maybe like three a day, I think... Um, so far right now, I'm on season four. But, yeah... <laughs> So, yeah, that's good, um, because yeah, I love Friends, it's my favorite show, and, uh, so yeah, I am on season 4 right now, and yeah, so far, I would have to say, I, of course, I still love it, and to be honest, there has been some episodes I haven't seen, and since I have seen those episodes, I'm like, Oh, I haven't seen that one, but wow, I'm glad I did, so, um, I would have to say movies I'm currently watching is, well, not anything really specific right now, but to be honest, uh, okay, last night, to believe it or not, last night I watched for the first time on Crackle was Insidious. And to be honest, that movie really scared me because there were some parts in there that were happening that I was definitely like, like on the edge of my seat, or should I say, <laughs> yeah, just on, on the edge of my seat and that I was so scared, like, I say scared as in my heart was pounding fast and, whew. Uh, even to think about it, it it's it's scary. It really is. Um, but yes, um, even during the movie, not only was I feeling you know very scared, but also during the movie, I was definitely like you know gasping. And the, I think there was just some parts that did make me scream, but not scream that I hoped I would too. You know, like scream like really loud, but I only scrimped. No, scrimped? I'm sorry, that's not even a word. Um, but I did scream in a way where no one can hear me because everyone else, my family, was sleeping. So if I had to scream, it had to be like really low. It couldn't be like, you know, like loud, like if I just saw a spider. No, it had to be quite low. <laughs> so, okay, there's just this one part in the movie that I watched last night where, you know, that thing, that red thing um, that showed up behind that guy when the woman was talking, okay, that made me jump and I screamed. Oh boy. But I had a feeling that wasn't going to be it 
um, of seeing that thing because of course they showed that thing like a little bit more towards the ending which got me even more uh, very scared so yeah all I have to say movies I'm currently watching like I said it's not really anything specific right now but it's most likely when I want to watch it if you will but yeah starting next month i will start watching <laughs> more scary movies like from october 1st to halloween so i can't wait for that um so yeah um and since because i did saw insidious um for the first time last night i'll just say this that it <laughs> Okay, it's scary, because it really scared me, especially those parts, those scary parts that made me gasp and that made me scream, so, oh boy, I, I, I wonder how part two is, because, and part three, because so far I do remember seeing the trailer for part three and I was just like, like real jumpy, like, you know, terrified like oh no <laughs> so anyway I mean I can watch scary movies I mean to be, to believe it or not I can watch scary movies um, I can because um, I do have a strong stomach but even though there will be some parts that scare me I know most people if they're so scared they will just look away but with me I'm not like that like no matter how scared I am I will continue watching what's happening because I'm like okay I just want to see what happens like even though I'm so terrified right now I just want to see what else what happens because I'm so curious so that's just me but yep yeah, that's what I'm watching at the moment friends and some scary movies just some just so that way I could be ready for October. Um, ever had deja vu? Yes. Yes, I have experienced deja vu. And the reason why I've experienced deja vu is either because something is something that I've probably imagined it before and somehow it kind of happens in real life and I'm like, okay I somehow did imagine that before but I didn't know that was gonna happen but also I think was the most um, real explanation here on why deja vu happens is because we have dreams and because when we have dreams of what we go through that somehow those dreams do come to reality except they don't exa exactly happen the way the dream happens, like how you have that dream, but it happens in a very similar way that it feels like deja vu because it feels like you already experienced it before. So yes, I have had deja vu before and I don't even doubt um, that I won't. Um, no, most likely I don't doubt that I won't ever have deja vu because to be honest I do believe that I will be experiencing some deja vu pretty soon like maybe I don't know maybe when I start working like get a job and I have to say when things start to change in my life and let's say if there's just some events um in my life in that moment where it just feels like deja vu then yeah I will it will probably be because I probably dreamt about it so I have no doubt about it because I do believe I'm that pretty soon but yeah I probably will experience some deja vu um, it just it just kind of depends on when um, and last question, are you ready for Halloween? Yes, I'm ready for Halloween. Are you kidding me? I mean, 
I want it to be October so bad, but even though we're at least at the beginning of September, you know, I'm fine with it because, you know, at least September is a month where, um, you know, the first day of fall, which is, I'm sorry, I'm lucky, uh, it says on the calendar, uh, the 22nd? So, wow, I mean, yeah, I can't wait for that. But yes, um, I already have at least some Halloween decorations. Um, a little, not quite, but I do have a pumpkin spice scent in my room. You know, like the glaze scents that you plug in. It smells so good in here. <laughs> It does. It, it already smells like fall in my room, you know, pumpkin spice, which is like, oh, like, I want it to be October. <laughs> yes, as, as bad as all of us want it to be October and to um, decorate um, with Halloween decorations inside and outside the house and as much as we want to have this long marathon of Halloween movies, you know, scary movies, which I don't blame you for that. Believe me, I want that too. I want it to be October where every day I get to at least pick one scary movie to watch. Well, in my opinion, I would do that. Um, and yes, and I know some of us have already bought our Halloween costumes. I haven't. But I hope I will soon next month. And you're probably wondering if I am going to dress up uh, next month for Halloween. What costume did I choose? Or what do I have in mind? Um, I already have one picked out. Uh, I definitely want to dress up as Harley Quinn. And you're probably wondering which one, like from Suicide Squad or Classic. Um, Harley. I would definitely have to say classic Harley just because I definitely want to dress up like her, like with the red and black, um, like of her outfit. And yes, I will dress up like her again from Suicide Squad, like, I don't know, sometime way later in the future. But for now, this year, I just want it to be the black and red costume, you know, the classic Harley, and, and yeah, so I do have a costume picked out for that, so I can't wait for that, I'm so looking forward to it, and just by talking about it, I'm feeling so excited right now, like, I feel like it should be October right now, where I could have, like, this little cute bowl of Halloween candy, and, um, these cute, Halloween decorations in my room, <laughs> but, um, I know that will happen, but, like I said, I know as much I want that, and the rest of you really want it to be October so bad, which I know how you feel, because it's only a month away, and how come it just can't come sooner? So, this is um, the end of this Q&A video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!